Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 8 Premium Japanese Cruiser Atago. It has 10 main guns, 8 secondary guns, 36 AA guns, 16 torpedoes, a top speed of 35.6 knots, total hull 40,100. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery increase, main battery accuracy, reduce flood and fire chance, faster rudder shift, and concealment. For my commander, situation awareness, faster turret traverse, lower cooldown on damage control, advanced firing training, and concealment. We are on the map Land of Fire. This is a ranked battle, and it is an intense ranked battle that I wanted to share with you. So the Otago, much like the Amagami, is a max level ranked Japanese cruiser. It has fantastic gun accuracy. You have the ability to use torpedoes forward of your position. You also have access to the heel. She is very close to the Mogami's overall power. The only weakness is you cannot increase the range of the guns, which of course is a huge strength of the Mogami and one that I love to use. Maybe not for long. So we're gonna fire on this Fubuki. The Fubuki is way too far forward. We get 2,000. We knock out a module, but of course you can see the fires put out, all that stuff, so he's used damage control, but anyone who follows up will be able to knock out modules again. And we lead the target again. Looks like we didn't lead it as well as we could have. We miss. We're taking fire from the enemy. Someone gets a citadel penetration. Really, guys? Really? So, we've got to play a little bit more passively than I would have liked. The enemy Fubuki, of course, is using smoke, so the only person who could spot us is behind smoke. So it's very hard for him or his team to see my position. It's free shots on the enemy. Nobody has captured me, by the way. The Fubuki has retreated. We're going to use our aircraft in an attempt to perhaps spot him out. And he leaves smoke for maybe half a second. Spots us, but our detection goes away. His detection goes away. He's probably behind the island. Wow. We're still being detected. We have something in the realm of 9.6 kilometers with this particular build. We have both with the concealment module and the concealment skill for the captain. And I've actually made use of that on the Mogami. It, uh, it's like cheating, okay? Imagine having the same detection as a Soviet destroyer, but you have 10 times the firepower. It's just fantastic. Plus you have the range on your torpedoes that's equivalent to a US destroyer. And oh yeah, with advanced firing training, you can outrange the detection when firing with the Mogami. There's nothing broken there. Don't you suggest nerving her. Don't touch my Mugami. Now the enemy Fubuki shows back up. He's being a little brave. And our guns just aren't in position to track on him before he goes behind the island. We do help successfully capture B. Most of my team is engaged with the enemy in the north. Me and the Benson are going after this Fubuki. And the Benson already has line of sight. We almost have line of sight. Our front guns are in position. The back guns are coming in. And here come torpedoes. Okay, we gotta be careful. Full stop, full stop, full stop. And we basically took that from the Benson. But he survives the torpedo strike. And we take out the Fubuki as a team. Now, there's an enemy Benson that is not within a reasonable range. But we could engage him. I wouldn't want to engage him. So I'm going to hold my fire and drop off. He's outside of the 9.5 kilometer range, roughly. You really should have an idea of the detection range of your ship. Bonus points if you know it when you're firing. The calibers adjust. There's a great chart. I can't find the link right now, but there's a great chart that ranks the caliber of the gun and how much it increases the detection of the ship. We're firing on these enemies. They could fire on us, but I believe they want to fire on someone closer. And that's kind of the risk I'm taking. The enemy Benson shows back up. And of course, we're going to go after the Benson if we can get guns in position. We're taking fire from an enemy ship. The Benson is taking fire. And we kind of do uh, a blind island shot. We can't really lead the target as well as we wanted to. We didn't see the target. And we missed the target. So the Benson runs into the island. <laughs> he's uh, he's not dumb. He's hiding. He's out in the open. He was firing. He can't afford to die. 
if we take out the destroyer, we get a huge amount of power over the enemy. We basically know that we won't be stealth cap or stealth spotted. And I'm just trying to make sure I don't run into allies or islands. Not really a good target anywhere around. I do hold my fire, so I drop off. And enemy torpedoes, of course, are in the area, but they don't have range. Now the Megami is about to round the corner, and we're going to engage the Megami. The Megami, of course, is very powerful, very threatening to friendly destroyers, and to friendlies in general. So we are able to land a pretty reasonable salvo, I would say. Friendly sets him on fire, and we lose a ally right next to us. The Mogami is, never mind, the Mogami is not burning, he uses damage control. So we now know he's susceptible to more fires if we're able to land them on him. And this isn't looking very good, right? We're all over the place. We don't really have control over the situation. In ranked games, you can't afford to not have control over the situation. It means it's almost beyond reach of a successful win. They are much tighter as a team, the enemy is, than our team. We're all over the place. We do have a friendly destroyer that could capture A and put pressure on the enemy to respond. There is a enemy battleship though that is sitting on A and I'm right near my max range. It's not very good. The Sims, who I believe was AFK at the start, so his positioning was completely blown up, is being hunted down and destroyed by the enemy's wolf pack of cruisers. We don't know exactly where the enemy Benson is, but he could be anywhere in the open ocean, and that's probably where he is. He's probably south of the friendly Sims and north of our position, which is completely fine. It's, it's not a huge deal. He has to get pretty close. I'm confident in my ability to maneuver. I have the rudder shift. The ship itself is very solid. I am actually surprised that they gave the buffs to the Otago when they did. I felt like this ship was already the best premium. We, along with a friendly cruiser and a friendly battleship, are on B. We're not very healthy as a team, although that enemy Miyoko isn't very healthy either, so if we get range on him, we can take him out, I believe. This was shot rather early, probably a couple days ago, so you do see that I do have the two-star flag. No, no. This is all just a part of the process. I didn't want to have back-to-back -back Otago games. This was basically recorded on the same day that the user submitted Otago was up on my channel. So I didn't want to have Otago's back-to-back, back-to-back-to-back. That's why there's a little delay. Now an enemy Mogami is headed towards us. Enemy Otago, enemy Miyoko is not visible. The enemy Nagato is being taken out by the allies and there's the Miyoko. We don't really have range on it though. It's at the max range. It's coming towards us. We really want to wait until we get a good shot on the enemy Miyoko. While that's going on, we're going to continue to fire. And I was all excited. I was like, yes, they're taking out the enemy Nagato. Friendly is frustrated that he's not dying. I have no idea my allies' health. I figured they're having so much success taking out the enemy Nagato. Nope. They're just as unhealthy as this guy. He's also dead in the water, which is interesting. Friendly's gonna follow up and, yes, take out the enemy battleship. That brings it to a tie. But, unfortunately, our battleship sustained a lot of damage. And I sustained a lot of damage from the Iniatago. And they're so healthy! Arr! We're still firing on the enemy Megami. I still feel like it's the most powerful. The enemy Benson went to go counter the friendly destroyer, so I just saw him spotted at A. That's an interesting position to come from. He must have circled around and came back. And yeah, we're the closest to the enemy. They're all firing on us. We are steering with a rear view mirror. <laughs> Feels like Jurassic Park all over again, boys. We've got to be careful. Can't afford to take damage from the enemy, and I can't afford to bring my front guns to bear. We're just gonna chip away, and we're gonna try and defend B as long as possible. I don't believe the friendly destroyer has a chance. Yeah, oh gosh. Well, this isn't looking good. 
it's two to four, and they have more health than us. Oh, we land a really good shot. We're able to land four of the total four rounds on the target. That dispersion was fantastic. We bring our front. I'm going to risk taking damage to put out double the amount of damage that I was prior. And it kind of pays off. We destroy one of his guns. So now he cannot do as much damage as he would like. Looks like two of his front guns are completely destroyed. That really forces him to risk his ship in order to do damage, which is exactly what works in our favor. We get 3k on a broadside target. And is he going to burn down? He burns down. One down, three to go. Enemy Miyoko is very low too, so we're going to engage him. Friendly Pensacola or New Orleans. U.S. cruiser. It's a U.S. cruiser. Are both in range to fire on the enemy Miyoko. Someone is telling us how to play. You know, that's okay. It's whatever. And I know exactly what I want to do. I want to protect B, which is being captured, mind you, not by the enemy Miyoko. The enemy Miyoko is not on B. So that must be the enemy destroyer, because obviously we see the other cruiser. And I don't know who the New Orleans is firing at. I think what the New Orleans should have done is come forward with me, use this island as a line of sight blocker, and engage the enemy Miyoko. And we still do not see the enemy destroyer. I know he's there, and I know... Yeah, here he is. Okay. Focus 100% on the destroyer, not because he is close. He's a destroyer. Killed the destroyer. Five kilometer destroyer has sent out his torpedoes. He's going 100% at us, and we're just trying to rotate our guns into position. It is inconvenient that he was on that particular side. They do capture B, so the clock has started. Basically, we have to get everyone dead in order to win this game. We fire on the enemy Benson. He recognizes the torpedoes and he slows down. Enemy Miyoko is still trying to hide from us. We don't actually have range on him, so the Benson is 100% our focus. We've got everything ready to go. Huge broadside on the enemy. We take out a gun completely. Wouldn't be a US destroyer without losing its gun, right? He is one salvo away. He's in a position where he can hide. We have to get the kill right now or we won't be able to catch him. We fire everything and we get the kill. Wow, that's clutch. We're out the open. We have the enemy Otago, the enemy Miyoko. Enemy Miyoko's firing. Enemy Otago just fired. Oh, we're sustaining a lot of AP, but we're still alive. Barely alive. So we're going to fire on the enemy Miyoko. The New Orleans is healthier than us. He should try and take a little bit more damage while protecting me. We miss. Ugh, and he disappears. So now we only have one option. Fire on the enemy Otago. We're going to bring our guns to bear. And we're going to unload on him. We have AP, believing that he will show a side and we'll be able to penetrate it. And we're able to do moderate amount of damage, I would say. Front guns are in position. We just need to rotate the ship to get the right angle. And the enemy Otago is actually firing on the New Orleans. That's great for us. We're way lower. I believe the Benson sent those out. I can't imagine that that was from the Miyoko. But I guess it could be. And the enemy Otago is doing what they need to do. They slam into the island to avoid shots from me. And now I can only engage the Miyoko who has line of sight on me from the enemy Otago. But he's behind an island, I believe. And I'm really desperate. I'm not seeing a position where I can actually do something. The enemy Otago is burning, showing his side to the New Orleans. This should be a huge advantage to the New Orleans. At least in theory. The New Orleans could angle his ship harshly, have all access to his guns, but still minimize the target that the enemy has while firing on a broadside target that is basically dead in the water or very nearly trying to back up. It should be a huge advantage for the New Orleans. Now, the game is almost over. We have 50 points. We have to get a kill. And we have to stop B. Both the Miyoko and the Otago have to die. So I'm going after the Miyoko and B. The Miyoko thinks we're going to go on the right side of this island. We actually go on the left. We fire our front guns at the enemy Miyoko. We still have our guns pointed towards the 
port side. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to continue this process. We are showing a lot of our side, but it's a risk-reward type thing. We have to get a Citadel. We get a Citadel! Can we get our back guns in position in time to fire? No! I don't know if you caught that. The New Orleans died right at the end, too, so it doesn't matter. But, man, was that close. Don't worry, this rank is prior to rank 5, and we're actually at rank 4, so we're doing pretty good. This game ultimately ended up way closer than I perceived it was headed towards. I thought it was like, oh, this is just a blowout. I gotta try my best, but there's really no chance of a win. But in the end, there was a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yes, Lloyd, I'm telling you there's a chance. Almost 600,000 credits earned, 3 kills, 1,400 base XP. Way higher than anyone else on my team, by the way. That Benson did work. Good job to him. I'm glad we took him out. We did in the realm of 65,000 damage, so it was it was okay. I just wish I would have landed a couple more shots and done a little bit more damage. We had a chance to win, and anytime you have a chance to win, you feel responsible for the outcome. So, just a solid game. It's a loss, but I hope it's entertaining. I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.